Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss about few important multiple choice question on your topic population dynamics. The first question you see the study of changing density of insects. What is density? Suppose a place is there in that place change of the population. Density means what? Population per area? Yes or no? So what it is telling? Changing density. That means the population is changing. It may be increasing or decreasing. It is changing in a particular area. Of what? Insect. Paste. Both in time and space. Not only area but also in a particular time. Okay. And space parameter and understanding the process which cause the change. Why? If the population is increasing, why? If this population is decreasing, why? Getting my point? What is this one they are asking? A population is there, its frequency is changing, okay, in a unit area, in a unit time, okay, and what is the reason behind that? If it is increasing, why? If it is decreasing, why? This is known as what? Density, natality, mortality, and population dynamics. You see, density means what? You already have discussed. Natality means that at which the rate at which what happens? Population are added. Mortality means they are lost. Yes or no? So the answer will be what? Population dynamics. Population size per unit area is known as what? Your population density. No need to tell. Rate at which new individuals are added to the population by reproduction. That is known as what? Your birth rate. That is your natality. The rate at which individuals are lost by death, that is known as what your mortality. Then the rate at which individuals immigrate into and emigrate out. Suppose a place is there, the rate at which what happens? Population are coming inside or population are going outside of the population. That is known as what your dispersal. Don't write down dispersion. Huh? Dispersion is what? The manner in which the population are distributed. Okay. So this is known as what your dispersal. The way in which individuals are distributed in space. This is known as what your dispersion. The population of individuals of different age groups in the group. Ages in the group. Suppose the population is there. Huh? Some are adult. Some are larva. Some are early larva. Some are late larva. Some are early adults. Yes or no? Some are reproductive adults. Like this different age group will be there. Okay. This is known as what your age distribution. Very very important. The way in which population changes or grows as a result of natality, mortality and dispersal. That is known as what your population growth form. Okay. Population growth form. j shaped growth form comes under which one? j shaped This is what your j shaped Yes or no? So here what will happen? High reproductive rate and low survival rate. Yes or no? So what will be the answer you see? R strategy. Don't write down R me. Huh? That is known as what your R strategy. So now coming to the last question. S shaped growth form comes under your which category? That means survival rate is high, reproductive rate is low. Yes or no? So it won't be S strategy. It is known as what your K strategy. Huh? So the option will be your B. That is your K strategy. Okay. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day.